Right now at five, President Biden was in La Crosse today. He's looking to sell voters on his infrastructure plan. Sarah McGrew reports on how the president says his plan will directly impact Wisconsinites. President Biden made his case for a significant investment in infrastructure and creating jobs across the country. That includes expanding broadband access and replacing lead pipes that would have a direct impact here in our state. America has always been propelled into the future by landmark national investments. The president starting his trip with a tour of the La Crosse Municipal Transit Utility Facility. Biden's infrastructure plan includes improvements to public transportation, roads and bridges. But he says he's also looking at infrastructure in a new way. This deal also help high speed internet and make sure it's available to every American home, including 35 percent of rural families who currently go without it. He says his infrastructure plan will help connect every American to high speed Internet, an issue that was highlighted in the last year by the pandemic. Tens of thousands of those constant kids got left behind. Did you ever think here in America that kids would have to sit in a fast food parking lot just to do their schoolwork and homework because they could connect online? According to a 2020 report, about 25 percent of rural Wisconsin residents don't have access to adequate high speed Internet. And no farmer here in Wisconsin should lose business because they don't have reliable connection to the Internet. He also says the plan would replace 100 percent of lead water pipes across the country. That's an issue felt particularly hard here in Milwaukee, with an estimated 70,000 lead laterals connecting water to homes across the city. Every single American child at home or in school will soon be able to turn on that faucet and their moms and dads know that the water they're drinking is clean. Biden also touted the jobs that this plan would create, which he says would be mostly blue collar and don't require a college education. Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News. Meanwhile, the Republican Party of Wisconsin issued a statement on the president's visit, quote, after fighting for a death tax that would crush multi-generational farms, creating a labor crisis that has left agriculture businesses without workers, and promoting far-left policies that would cripple rural Wisconsinites' way of life, Joe Biden had the audacity to abandon Wisconsin farmers for a bus station, as Democrats continue to remind Americans how little they care about the heartland, it's no wonder that rural Wisconsinites are leaving their party in droves. That from the Republican Party of Wisconsin.